Hello Capricorn, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you and I'm ready to do your tarot reading, tarot and oracle card reading for November 2022. And uh, just before we get started, just to remind you that this is a general reading. So some of it may resonate, some of it may not. Uh, what resonates, hang on to, what doesn't, toss it. Uh, if you want your own personal reading, you can get that. All you have to do is just go to my website and um, that my website is located in the box below and if you'd like to make a small monetary donation to this reading you can do so uh, my information for venmo and paypal is in the box below as well let's go ahead and get started uh, as a capricorn i've already pulled your cards and in this reading i'm going to kind of jump around a little bit so um it looks like i'm seeing the five of cups here. Cups is about emotions, um, uh, spiritual things, mostly about emotions and love and, and that sort of thing. And also your map card is rock bottom. So it looks to me like by looking at all the cards and like I said, I'm going to jump around, but it looks to me like um, something has really um, emotionally brought you some pain. Um, and it's like with the five of cups it's telling me that you've taken some time to rest and to try to move on and um you are moving on uh there's the the one thing that's being advised to you is it's like you you've pulled yourself away from the world uh mostly so that you could heal and overcome whatever the situation was um but your flower card is the waddle card and it represents laughter so what i see for you uh capricorn it's like you just gotta move on um bring yourself uh, expose yourself uh surround yourself with people that are going to lift you up and and just laugh laughter can sometimes be the best healing medicine it says uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter so you are gonna come out of this uh whatever the situation is i see the lover's card as well so this is a major card i feel like there's going to be somebody that's going to come into your life if they have not already that um, is going to help you help you with the healing uh, the lover's card it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to meet uh, a significant other, like a romantic partner. It could be, uh, again, this is a general reading. It could be somebody that you, uh, it could be somebody that you uh, get along really well with or that you you're feel a, a deep connection with. Um, it may not have anything to do with a romantic relationship, but it's going to be somebody that you have a meeting of the minds and, and there is a connection between the two of you. Um, but this person is, I feel is going to help you overcome and see things in a different light. Um, also help bring laughter in your, into your world, but your angel is Bridget. Um, uh, and she is really advising you that this situation uh, that you have been in she says caution is warranted look deeper into the situation before proceeding further and I feel like um, whatever it was it brought you to this point of feeling like you had hit rock bottom uh, for some of you I feel like there was maybe uh, a financial loss a job loss um, and, and for others again it may be a romantic you know a separation uh, loss um, or divorce or something uh, that made you feel like you just absolutely hit the very bottom but you're starting to uh, come out of the slumber a, a, a bit um, I like to use the word you're beginning to thaw because uh, sometimes when we hit that rock bottom we just freeze uh, so you are beginning to thaw out a little bit the ten of pentacles though is in reverse and uh, I feel like for many of you, this has it has something to do with money, of course. Um, but it, it's like um, you still have a long ways to go before you get to where you want to be, before you actually, you know, like com completely heal from the situation. And, and that's okay. Uh, time is the best medicine. 
a lot of women that I deal with, they go through breakups, they come to me. And if I could, if I had a pill that they could take to overcome the, the pain and the grief, um, I would be a multimillionaire. Uh, but I don't have that. The only uh, remedy that I have is to tell you that time, time is the greatest healer. Uh, so it's, it's just going to be some time uh, before you get to that point uh, where you're really feeling yourself again. Uh, you haven't felt yourself. This, you know, I feel like the universe is going to send somebody into your life that's really going to help you, lift you up a little bit and help you, uh, like I said, in, in healing through this whole process. Uh, but you're... Um, you have another card, your bonus card, which is, uh, I love this card, it's be spontaneous. You know, um, even though what's happened, the situation that's happened to you has really brought you down and, and uh, made you feel like you've hit rock bottom, but um, just, you know, this is about enjoying life. You have to put one foot in front of the other and get out and do things and meet people and laugh and have a good time. That is that is the other part of the healing medicine for you, uh, is just being spontaneous and getting out and enjoying life because you're not dead yet. Uh, so so just keep moving forward. Um, and yes, it's, it's okay to grieve. You're going to grieve. Uh, but let's see what this... Uh, card means. I like to read from the book what the actual meaning. When you're busy, rushing, stressed, worried, or overwhelmed, it is easy to lose track of the simple things in your world that bring you joy. So think about it. What does bring you joy? Uh, this is a huge nudge to remember to create some fun. You know, um, it was a, a long time ago. I had closed it. I had a little vintage clothing store and I had closed it up. Um, for various reasons but when it came time to me trying to think about what i wanted to do because i i needed to work i made a list of things that i enjoy doing because i didn't want to go back to a job that i didn't enjoy and so you know you have been you know like feeling like you've been at rock bottom so make a list of things that you like to do rather it be crocheting or dancing or just find things for yourself to do. I mean, I took a belly dance course, uh, which was one of the best things I ever did, I think. Uh, rediscover enthusiasm and fascination through adventure and, adventure and spontaneous happenings. Um, engage with your life again and take in your surroundings, observing the importance of living life to its fullest. Decide to do something for the pleasure of it and see where life takes you. You know, I have to tell you, there is a lady, um, she's on Facebook, and I'm friends with her on Facebook, and I, I've met her like once or twice in real life, but um, she's retired, and she um, <laughs> she, uh, she makes uh, like dollhouses and makes miniatures, miniature furniture and people and appliances and everything to put in these doll ha doll houses. And she takes these walks all the time. She walks all over Charleston. I mean, she'll go downtown or she'll go to all these different places or the uh, gardens, different gardens that we have. And she's always taking pictures and sharing. Um, and I, I guess for her, this is what, you know, helped her get out of the boredom of being retired was she got out and she just started making her own adventures and she shares them on Facebook and it's, it's really cool to see it um, because she's, she's just, you know, doing, she is making her world happy and, you know, nobody is responsible for your happiness except for yourself. And so in, in this reading, be spontaneous do things that, you know, you've wanted to do but never did before or that you used to do and enjoyed and for some reason or another you quit doing it. Get back out there and do it and start enjoying your life. Whatever the situation that put you in a, uh, made you feel, that, that brought you to the rock bottom, you don't have to stay there, honey. Uh, you can get out of it. 
little by little. You know, sometimes it takes little baby steps, but you can do it. And just be spontaneous with your life and enjoy your life. An attitude of gratitude is always key. Um, even when you don't feel like it, even if it's just being grateful for a cup of coffee, you know, just think of one thing every day, every morning, every after, every noontime and every evening. Think of something, just one thing that you can be grateful for. And, and when you're doing that, uh, your life starts to change, your perspective and things begin to change. And then before you know it, you find more and more things that you're grateful for. So I hope this helps Capricorn. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to let me know. Again, if you want your own personal reading, you can get that. All you got to do is go to my website that is located in the box below. Also, if you'd like to make a small monetary donation, uh, you can do that. My PayPal and Venmo information is in the box as well. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel so you can get notices every time I put something out, please hit the subscribe button. Capricorn, I hope you have a wonderful full month. Make lots of adventures for yourself this month. And I will see you next month in December. Bye-bye.